Get ready for expensive crashes, suspicious characters, adorable animals, and more on this episode of Wham Bam Security Cam. Laura was outside enjoying a peaceful evening. Sadly, that was quickly about to change. Laura told us she thought the pickup was going to hit her and her dogs, but thankfully it swerved at the last moment. Instead, it hit the two vehicles parked in front of her house. We're betting that was a little too close for comfort. The pickup driver pushed the Miata out of the way before driving through the yard and what looks like a ditch. They eventually managed to get back on the road and took off. Laura has tried everything she can think of, even going on the news, to find the driver responsible. The only other lead she has is the red paint the pickup left behind on one of the vehicles. So far, she hasn't been able to identify the driver, but she hasn't given up. If you have any information that might help, contact us and we'll forward the information to Laura. Here comes another bad driver, but hopefully this one learned a valuable lesson about winter driving. Thankfully, the driver was okay, but the same can't be said for Kieran's wall. The rubble that remained was removed because it wasn't stable, and the driver was very apologetic. Like we said, this was a valuable, albeit expensive, lesson about taking corners too fast. And hopefully, one that driver won't soon forget. Kieran told us he and his dad love the Wham Bam channels, but we couldn't do any of this without submitters like you. Remember, if you have any security cam videos you'd like to see in a future episode, send them in using the link in the description. Tony told us it's that time of year again. He must be referring to the time of giving and cheer, but it's also the time when unscrupulous people take advantage of the numerous packages being shipped around. That's what happened to Tony's package that had been left by his mailbox, almost. A thief came inside his building to see what was in the package. After tearing it open, he discovered it was just a pair of gloves. Evidently, they weren't his style. Thankfully, he left the package and its contents behind, along with the other mail that was sitting in the mail slots. Tony reminds you to watch for package thieves this time of year, adding, don't be a jerk, please. Good advice, Tony, good advice. Ever wondered what to do if you're driving and miss your turn? This driver is about to show us what not to do. When Rodney noticed his mailbox on the ground one morning, it prompted him to check his security cam footage. We don't know if the driver knew they'd knocked over his mailbox, but either way, they didn't stop. Rodney didn't bother filing a police report and decided to just replace the mailbox himself. Alyssa from Texas sent us footage of some late night visitors. She called these foxes, but she isn't actually sure what they are. Does anyone know what these critters are called? She told us they're very small and very cute. They look like they're on a mission. While you type your expert opinion in the comments, let's move on to our cute cam video. This week's cute cam was sent to us by Mike. He hung a dog toy on a string to provide some entertainment for the local wildlife. These raccoons understood the assignment. Mike also put some water out for them, and I'm not sure which they like playing with more. He told us this is the third time wildlife has broken the string and carried the dog toy away, but he always finds it and hangs it back up. After they'd had their fun, the raccoons went on their way, leaving a slew of wet footprints as evidence of their presence. This submitter wants to know who was at fault in the parking lot situation you're about to watch. Our submitter was driving his pickup and was leaving a parking lot when the driver of a red SUV also started to leave. As the other driver backed up, they hit the back of our submitter's pickup, damaging his wheel as well as their own bumper cover. He told us nobody was injured, but since the collision took place in a private parking lot, there wasn't anything the police could do. Although they did give the driver of the SUV a ticket for driving without a license. Why is that not surprising? Well, what do you think? Should the other driver be held responsible? Brrr. It looks pretty cold and icy outside of Stanley's house. Even the garbage truck's robotic claw had trouble picking up Stanley's can. Whoops. 
The claw did manage to get a grip of the slippery can eventually, although it did leave an old air filter that fell out of the can behind. We've received quite a few garbage truck submissions lately, leaving us wondering, do you guys actually like watching garbage truck videos or are they trash? Don't worry, we didn't forget to throw a sentry mode video into this episode. This emitter's Model Y was parked when another driver pulled up to park right next to it, even though there were clearly other spots available. I guess that wasn't so bad until the driver got out and slammed his door into the side of the Tesla. The guy clearly noticed what he'd done because he tried to buff out the dent caused by his door. Obviously, a dent that deep is not going to be magically buffed out. Our submitter wants to find the driver responsible, but so far they've been unsuccessful. It's no secret that we here at Wham Bam are huge fans of Tesla. After all, Wham Bam Tesla Cam is how we got started. When we say we're just as excited as this submitter with his surprise sighting, you can take that to the bank. Whoa, hello. Hello. Andrew had just finished washing his car when, as he tells it, he saw a bulletproof alien space lander drive by. After it drove by, he ran inside and told his kids, Wham Bam Cybertruck passed by, man. We're guessing they were pretty jealous. What do you think of the Cybertruck? Sound off in the comments, and while you're at it, help us reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year by hitting that subscribe button. You can do it! Wham Bam, we got a Patreon, man. Please support the show. Do you have a security camp video to share with us? Send it in using the link in the description. 